For your fun and enjoyment, here is uh, our Acadian spinner number two, uh, the electric rebox two. Okay, I made a front that reminds a little bit of uh, Dutch uh, housing fronts. So we have uh, the same as in the electric re one, the circuit, uh, the the two. Uh, two different turns uh, to the right to the left. Here is the knob to uh, get the right speed. Okay, other than uh, the first box, this is a, a, a Scottish tension box. So you see here is the brake. And we got a very nice flyer from Ashford. It's a uh, art yarn flyer, so I can uh, make all kinds of yarn on this one. And it is uh, well, okay. We we had a um, how do you call it? Motor uh, engine thing. We stripped it down with uh, some ribbon, which is uh, going through the floor of the thing. And it's reasonably quiet. It could be more quiet, but mm, I kind of like it like this. So I will put it on. This is the speed I mostly use for spinning, and it sounds like this. Okay. So you hear? It's not much. It's not the whining of an electric uh, sewing machine motor, it's just a very nice, very nice low sound and probably I could make it even more quiet by uh, insulating the box, but isolating the box. But well, that's it for now, my electricery too. It's uh, just... Uh, oh, one detail, this little knob. I found it years ago, I thought, well, there must be something I can do with it. And finally today, there it was. So, uh, this is my uh, homemade uh, electric spinner for, I think, uh, under 150 euros. And it can do whatever I want, so I'm happy. And I thank you, the, the developer of the Acadian e-spinner on Revelry, for making such a nice spinner and uh, sharing your plans. Thank you so much.